Hello and welcome to a general discussion on financial accounting and reporting. After viewing this video, you'll be able to explain the relationship between business and accounting, explain the purpose of each of the four financial statements, state the types of items reported on the four financial statements, and explain that FASB provides accounting guidance followed by accountants. Accounting is the language business uses to communicate the activities of a business. Companies begin by raising funds from investors or borrowing from creditors. The funds are used to purchase items that are used to operate the business. Services are provided to the company, such as employees working or insurance coverage, and the business provides goods and services to customers using the items purchased and the services provided. As the business operates, the accountant secures the items used to operate the business, such as cash or inventory and equipment, and records every single activity of the company. The accountant then reports the results of operations and the financial position to investors and creditors. The accountant must understand and be aware of everything the business does. Accounting is the language used by business people to communicate the results of operations. All business people must learn to speak the language of accounting. It is the accountant's responsibility to record, summarize, and report all the activities of the business. The accountant must identify what is changing with each activity that occurs and enter the changes into the accounting system. The changes to each item are summarized by netting increases and decreases. The final amount for each item is presented on reports called financial statements. These financial statements are presented to management, investors, and creditors. The accountant provides financial statements that report the financial position and the results of operations to creditors that loan the company money. Creditors want to be sure they will be repaid with interest. Investors that put money into the company to earn a return on their investment desire information to evaluate performance. Suppliers who do business with the company need to evaluate the company's ability to pay for products and to continue to do business. Management uses financial information to monitor the performance of the company. All business people must understand financial information. An activity or an exchange is called a transaction. A transaction is an exchange of something for something else. All transactions must be tracked, recorded, and summarized in order to report the results of all transactions to investors, creditors, and management. Take a moment to read through this list of examples of transactions. Four financial reports are provided by the accountant. The accountant provides a balance sheet, an income statement, a statement of stockholders' equity, and the statement of cash flows. Each statement provides different types of information that are used for different purposes. Let's talk about the balance sheet first. The balance sheet reports the items the business has, which are called assets, the amounts the business owes, which are called liabilities, and the amount that is owned by the owners, which is called owner's equity. The information is reported as of a specific date. The amounts on the balance sheet are cumulative, which means it is the net of all increases and decreases since the first day the company began business, and this is the current situation of the company. Assets will always equal liabilities plus owner's equity. This equation, referred to as the accounting equation, will always hold true. Whatever a business has will always either be owed for or owned. Take a moment and look at an example of a personal balance sheet of a typical student. Assets are stated on the left side. You should recognize some of the common things most students have. Most students have a little cash, some supplies, food, maybe an automobile, computer, and furniture. The things a student has are used to operate their life. On the top right are the liabilities, the items that are owed. The name of the liability describes the type of debt owed. 
Accounts payable represents the bills that come in the mail, and notes payable represents loans from a bank. On the bottom right is owner's equity. Common stock represents the money received from others, and retained earnings is the cumulative earnings of this person. Notice that assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. A person either owes for or owns outright everything they have. The balance sheet for a business is formatted very similar. However, different names are used to describe the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity items. You will learn the common names used by a business as you study accounting. The income statement reports the earnings of the business over a certain period of time. Earnings is the net result of revenues from providing goods or services to customers, the cost of these services provided to the company, and the cost of using assets to serve customers. Companies typically report earnings for a period of a month, a quarter, or a year. Here is an income statement that might represent the earnings of a typical student. The revenue for the month represents service provided, which is work, in exchange for payment. The cost of living during the month are reported as expenses. The earnings is the result of revenue less expenses. An income statement for a company is similar, however different names are used to describe the cost of operating the business. You will learn the descriptive names used by business for the income statement as you study accounting. The statement of stockholders' equity, also called owner's equity, represents the activity related to owners during a period of time. This statement reports the receipt of funds from owners in return for ownership, called common stock. Payments back to owners, called dividends, and the net the business earned which goes to the owners. This statement reports activity for a specific period of time. Here is an example of a personal statement of stockholders equity. Imagine that the student is the owner of the business. Transactions that are done with the owner are listed down the left side and the names of what changes is listed across the top in columns. Owner's equity is reported on the balance sheet and is cumulative. Therefore, it begins with the ending balance from last period, which is now the beginning balance. The amounts that change the ownership is added to get to the amount at the end of the period to be reported on the current balance sheet. In this example, the parents made an investment in the student by giving money, and the earnings for the month are retained by the student. The statement of cash flow specifically reports where cash comes from and what cash is used for during a period of time. This statement shows three sections, operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. The cash flow statement is necessary because cash is not the same thing as income reported on the income statement. Here is an example of a student's cash flow statement. There are three sections. The top section, cash from activities, operating activities, lists items received and paid in cash that are related to day-to-day -day life. The middle section lists cash paid and received related to long-term assets or things the student has. The last section, financing activities, lists cash received from parents acting like investors and from borrowing money. The total change in cash is netted with the cash at the beginning of the period to get the cash on hand at the end of the period. The end of period amount will agree to the cash reported on the balance sheet. Let's take a look at the important things to remember about each financial statement. The balance sheet reports what the company has, owes, and owns on a specific date. All amounts are cumulative from the first day of business. The income statement reports the earnings of the company for a period of time. The statement of cash flow reports cash received and cash paid during a certain period of time. And the statement of stockholders' equity reports a detail of all transactions with owners during a period of time. The financial statements are a summary of the transactions of the company. 
The investors and creditors often want more detail to understand the financial position of the company. So footnotes are provided with the financial statements to provide more detail. Footnotes provide a description of the accounting rules followed when preparing the information and they also provide the details that answer many of the questions investors and creditors have. Let's switch gears and discuss who makes the rules that accountants follow when providing financial information. The Financial Accounting Standards Board provides accounting guidance called Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, or GAAP for short. It is called Generally Accepted because the guidelines are generally accepted by accounting and finance professionals that this is the best way to report the economic situation and results of a company's operations. All accountants follow the same general guidelines to make it easy for investors and creditors to understand the financial information provided, and so information for one company can be easily compared to other companies. All public companies traded on a securities exchange must follow generally accepted accounting principles when preparing and providing financial information. The Securities Exchange Commission is a governmental body that ensures public companies comply with GAAP. Private companies do not have to follow generally accepted accounting principles. However, most do anyway because investors and creditors will not provide funds if they do not understand or trust the financial information that is provided. Public accounting firms provide the service of reviewing financial reports to ensure that companies are following generally accepted accounting principles. They provide an opinion that states whether or not the financial statements are presented in accordance with GAAPs. This gives investors confidence in the information that is provided. Take a moment and read through the summary of who does what in the accounting profession when it comes to financial reports. The FASB makes the rules and provides the guidance on how accountants will prepare financial information. This is done working with financial and accounting professionals. The SEC enforces the rules for all public companies. And public accounting firms review the financial statements to ensure the information is in accordance with GAAP. Companies that do business in other countries are not subject to U.S. GAAP. They have their own accounting rules or follow international reporting standards provided by the IASB. The IASB operates similar to FASB and provides accounting guidance for international companies in other countries. The goal of the ISB is to provide consistent standards that all companies use worldwide so that all financial statements are easy to compare from one company to another regardless of the country the company does business in. The FASB is currently working with the IASB to create accounting guidance that is consistent from one country to another. After viewing this video, you should be able to explain the relationship between business and accounting, explain the purpose of each of the four financial statements, and state the types of items reported on those statements, and explain that FASB provides accounting guidance that is followed by accountants. Please go to studymyaccounting.com and do the practices you learn for examples of each of the concepts discussed in this video. Work the practice test to verify your understanding. Check your answers to the answers and explanations that are provided. Thank you for being prepared for class. It is much appreciated.